who haven't won now for four weeks are still making changes while Terry Fay returns to one wing Kerry Bostead has been replaced by Ricky Walford on the other second rower Ian Barkley finds himself in Ron Gitto's centre spot Les Cleal is the new second rower for Des O'Reilly and skipper Royce Ayliff returns to replace John Harvey in the front row in contrast North's is a more settled side and this back line is unchanged from the combination which beat Penrith last week to give the Bears their seventh win on the trot Missing from the forwards, however, is their ball-playing hooker, John Gray, and Phil Ritchie will have the responsibility in the scrums. Statistically, as I mentioned, East have had the wood on North Sydney. In their 33 matches since 1966, Norths have beaten the Roosters only eight times. Last year, East's won both encounters by a point in the first round here at the sports ground and by 20 points in the return at North Sydney. In the first round this year at North Sydney, Norths were too good, scoring five tries to two, winning... Another scrum penalty against McCaffrey, and that would be the third time that he's been penalised, feeding the ball into the second row. And it looks as though he's heading for the sin bin. Yes, he's just been given 10 minutes in the sin bin, and uh, we've only had 13 minutes of play, so that's a uh, very early uh, uh, decision to send a player to the sin bin for scrum infringements after such a short time. But uh, as you said, Alan, he has been penalised three times already for such an infringement. In fact, they're just about three successive scrums. So, Norths to do it tough for the next ten minutes without their halfback and one of their main attacking weapons. Noel Peel. To Masterman. Aleph. That's Les Peel. Driven down by Graham and... Harris. Hastings picks up Schubert. Throwing it back to Hastings. And a crunching tackle by Harris to play on. And East with a huge overlap out here if they can get it across. And Gitto caught. That's Brown getting it to Terry Fay. He's going to score. And Terry Fay, a very strong try. North Sydney supporters claiming a little bit of interference in field. You'll notice that one of the North defenders was tripped as he moved up to effect. Cox feeding the scrum that's been won by Easts. Long one to the centres, Gitto. Did well to get inside Brockwell. Laurie. Cleal. Schubert. Laurie. Hastings. Easts moving the ball quickly. Aleph, well handled Brown, beautiful pass, lovely pass away to Tobin, looking for support, and Kelly gets a good pass, and in goes try number three. He's running right now, lovely work by Tobin to get that final pass away to fullback Gurr. And from head on, a very good handling here by Dave Brown to pick up this pass. And as he was going to ground, got it away to Tobin. And Tobin, veering in, was caught by fullback Kelly, still managed to hear the call of Gurr inside. Marty Gurr untroubled to score try number three. Brown looking as though he's going to stay on. Now Noel Cleal. Hastings. And that kick not going where it was intended. Brock will knock it back, Terry Fay. Fay away, try number two. Talk about Johnny on the spot. Terry Fay's been right where it's been needed to pick up the... Now McCaffrey. Fox pass, a good one to Adam. Back to Cox, there's the fullback Kelly. Tackle finished by Faye, Simons, Cox, McCaffrey, Ritchie, Mayo reversing it to Adam. Now there's an over to overlap out here, Brockwall. That's one to go. Here's the bomb. High one, Gurr waiting for it. Looking into the sun. It's a try. Try to North. 
No, held up. Held up. John Adam getting the ball out of the air. Jerd. Second row across, standing wide. That's Graham. Last tackle coming up. They give it to McCaffrey. Throwing it wide now. Quick overlap, and that's a good break. Brockwell gets it to Simons, who's over in the corner. That's a nice try. Touch judge unmoved as the corner post was knocked over. But Simons getting the ball down. And North's tactics quite clear. Yes, he's a hard player, and he's got two tries to his credit in this uh, game, and uh, he's playing very well. Dave Brown, former Queenslander. Laurie. Les Cleal. Laurie weaving his way through. Lovely pass. Schubert's got support inside and elected not to give it to Tobin. Tobin was covered, but he might still have been able to get to the line. Beautiful. Tobin. Hastings. Laurie. Cleal running wide and he's gone straight through. That's the North Sydney quarter line. Comes. A duty handed, handed in by Rocky Laurie now. Gitto's pass looks for Fay. He's got two tries, he wants three. So Eastern Suburbs winning quite comfortably by 18 points to 7. So Eastern Suburbs keeping their semi-final hopes alive, but North Sydney still requiring two more competition points from their remaining three games to consolidate their place in the top five. He scored four tries to one. Terry Fay got two of them, one each to Ron Gitto and Marty Gurr. Gitto kicked two goals and Kevin Hastings won. And for North Sydney, the try scorer was Andrew Simons and Larry Kelly got two goals. North won the scrums 11 to 9. They were also favoured in the penalties by 14 to 8, including a count of 8 to 2 in the second half, and the errors finished at 6 all. Well, the incident, which probably contributed most to North Sydney's defeat today, occurred in the 13th minute of the game. It came from another scrum penalty against their halfback, Paul McCaffrey, and he was given 10 minutes in the sin bin after having been penalised on the two preceding scrums. It was while McCaffrey was off the field that Easts ran in 13 points. And if you deduct those 13 points, it meant that North Sydney outscored Easts by 7 points to 5 for the remainder of the game. Well, five tries scored. Which was your best, Reg? First try of the match, Alan, I thought was a, a great team effort. It was scored by East winger Terry Fay. It was a, a time where the ball was kept alive. It was an attack to the right-hand side uh, to North's defence. And uh, you see Schubert here throwing the ball back to halfback Kevin Hastings. He then unloads the ball. Tobin comes into the movement also receiving the ball. Then on to Rocky Laurie. And watch this wide pass touched by a North Sydney defender. But on to Gitto. It looked like the movement was about to cease here with that wild pass. Noel Cleal overrunning the ball. But good work by Dave Brown, the, the front row forward, to pick that ball up, keep the movement in, draws in that Norse defence, and Terry Fay gives it the open run to the line, and Fay goes in for the first of his two tries and improving his position going closer to the posts. A typical display by Evergreen Eastern Suburbs half Kevin Hastings has earned him our Man of the Match award today. Hastings got through a power of defence in this game and his tactical kicking and switches of play continually kept Eastern Suburbs on the offensive throughout. So there it is, one must wonder, is that the end of North Sydney's run for 1982? That remains to be seen. But Eastern Suburbs too strong today, they led 18-2 at half-time and they've run out winners by 18 points to 7.